Hello, everybody. Welcome back from uh, one of the more bizarre uh, spring breaks. I'm sure uh, at least I've seen probably you too. Uh, but uh, I do hope that uh, everybody in the family is uh, safe and uh, well and uh, that you all are getting uh, those essentials and what you need. Um, for us, uh, just as we were about to go to break, we got a notice uh, from administration that um, the, the college has made a decision that we cannot return to campus uh, this semester. Uh, when this first happened, of course, we were, we were anticipating that we may be able to do a little bit online and uh, cover things for a few weeks. And the way that uh, it's working now, that's just not a possibility. Uh, so what it does for us is create a, a handful of challenges. Uh, this is a hands-on course. Uh, both these are hands-on courses. And, and I'm actually speaking, it's the same message to both uh, the web series, the 255 class, and the single camera production, the 115 class. Um, it's the same information, so for me there was no point in, in cutting two different videos. Um, but the challenge here that they presented us with is um, how do we get through uh, a half a semester now <clears throat> all online? And not just online, um, we're, we're isolated, we're separated. Um, and for us, our discipline obviously is collaborative, and it and it uh, takes more than one person to to do this uh, kind of work. So we have multiple challenges, but um, you know, so do tons of other people, um, not just here at school, but around the world. So. Um, I, I think that our best course of action is to decide how we get through it together. Now, I've spent some time over the break and, and given it some thought. How do we get through this? What kinds of things can we do? Uh, and I want to go over those here. And the first thing I want to do is um, outline some options for you. Um, so... Uh, one of the things is um, you <coughs> excuse me. One of the things that you need to do is uh, decide based on on your life and and where you are if you want to stay uh, in the class and and here in this semester. And, and there's a whole bunch of variables that go into this. Um, if you're if you're using your credits to transfer your transfer to another uh, college is already set up, then you most definitely want to stick and, and get credit for that. Um, if not, and um, you really just want to do um, the the minimum that you can, you want to just do a pass or no pass in the class. Um, I can set that up for you, uh, but just know that this impacts you if you intend to use the class uh, outside of Santa Ana College. So not all uh, CSUs and UC schools will, will even give you credit for a pass, no pass. Uh, and then sometimes they will, but then they will automatically calcula calculate your grade to a C. So um, I'm not sure if pass, no pass applies to, to anybody or can help anybody, but it's out there and it's, on, it's an option and it's one, one that you should be aware of. Um, the, the, the second option that we have here is that if you'd like to take an incomplete in either of these production classes, we can make that happen. And uh, the justification for it is you signed up for a hands-on course and um, we don't have access, obviously, to some of our tools. Uh, we can't get in the labs and you don't have the cameras that you were starting to train on. Uh, so w we have enough reasons here, I believe, that if, if we want to do, if you want to do an incomplete, 
again, we can make that happen. Now, this is kind of an administrative thing, and here's what an incomplete looks like. We have to do some paperwork, and that's not a problem. I've done these here and at the university where I was before. Um, and, and all it does is kind of put you, you in the class on hold. And, <clears throat> and then what we do is when we get this class fired back up, hopefully next fall, um, you just can come back and retake the class. You don't have to pay for it again because what we'll do is we'll put the stipulation to complete the incomplete is that you'll come back and, and take the portion of the classes that, that you've missed um, here um, this semester. Um, if, if you really want to take the class and it's not going towards a specific degree either here or towards university transfer, um, this might be the way to go. So I've talked to a couple of people, one even in cinematography, um, who said, um, this is unfortunate. I really, really do want to learn uh, cinematography hands-on on the C100, uh, change those lenses, I don't really want to shoot on my, my phone. So it, the incomplete works for somebody in that situation. So all you do is you just, you, you, you take an incomplete and then you have one year to fulfill the obligation, which we'll say is to complete the, the, the class uh, in person online. So uh, that works for some people. Now, again, everybody's a little bit different, um, and it's it's really up to uh, up to you and your situation and what you want to do. So an incomplete's an option, and then the third option that we have here is you continue the course online. Uh, so I, I've uh, designed enough content for both 255 and 115, and we can, we can make it through this semester uh, kind of like how we were starting to do it just before we took the break. Um, the, the caveat here is that um, we, we all just need to be up front and, and you know, state that this is not the experience that you would get had we been uh, on campus and, and in our class because of the nature of those classes. Now, I think I've come up with enough kind of things that are tangential to it. I expect that you'll still learn something uh, and something that can apply to um, our discipline. Um, but, in, in, for example, in 255, are you setting up lights every night and breaking them down and moving to the next shot? Are you watching the actors work? You're watching the directors? Work? No, you, we can't do that. Uh, 115, we're, we're trying to do uh, some of our shoots on a phone. Um, so, so we have challenges and you just have to, if you're going to stick in the class online, we just have to agree, hey, that's the way it is. And <clears throat> We're going to make the best of it and get through it. So if this is an option for you, uh, if you want to stay in the class, then then you have to come and you have to come on and be online uh, every single week. I've broken the modules into weekly assignments. Uh, I'll try and feed it full of content for you. Um, there won't be anything on it that's going to be mind-boggling. Uh, I'm trying to keep it so that everybody can access uh, at least the minimum tools and that we can cover uh, at least the concepts. And, and I think that uh, I have done a pretty good job at setting that up. So, so if you want to stick with it and you want to stick with it online, I understand that uh, approach as well. Uh, you will earn a letter grade upon the completion if you go this way. Uh, and then, of course, you'll, you'll receive full credit for the course um, if you do that. Uh, the one caveat is then once you get credit for it, and, and this probably affects uh, people more in 255, is that you can't take the course again. 
So with 255 now, what's going to hit the catalog next next semester is the the 256 and 257 versions of the course are going to be online, and we can finally get to that. So so we have an outlet, and again, I don't think it's significant. So uh, as far as being detrimental with 115. If you're really just exploring it um, and, and you want to stick with it, you're not going to be held up going forward all that much. You will miss that hands-on experience, but I do believe that when we tackle these classes next year, we're going to have that in mind. So everybody that gets through the course in 115, uh, we're going to know that we've got to we've got to do a little extra work to get you up to speed in the advanced classes. So I don't think there's anything to fear there. So uh, to recap, those are the those are the kind of the three options that we're sitting here faced with now. Is you want to just go light, do a pass, no pass. Um, you can do an take an incomplete, and you walk away now, and you come back and take the class again next semester. Um, or you stick with us and then uh, move through the course online. Um, and, uh, of course, these, these decisions are up to you. Um, I, I, <clears throat> I want to work to not, <laughs> not server, but, but serve uh, um, most uh, any situation that you all have out there. So... Uh, but you got to work with me and you got to tell me what's going on and you got to let me know if there's a way I can help you. Uh, if so, I'll, I'll be happy to work hard to find a solution. Um, let's just be realistic about what we're going to accomplish through this semester, though. Um, and then I, I think you need to be honest with yourself about what you want to get out of the course. Um, if you just need the credits, you need the credits to move on, come stick with, in the module. And, uh, you know, we, once things get back to normal or semi-normal, whenever that is, um, you know, we, we, could, we could look at things like a workshop where we, where we run some, uh, some weekday or weekends where, where we put cameras in your hand and we kind of make up for some of the, the hands-on stuff that you haven't done it. I'm open to all that. Um, I'm open to, to do what we need to do for you. Um, and uh, key to that now is going to be for you to decide what you want to do. And I'm going to be sending out to probably uh, Monday an email, an individual email to each of you. And um, I'm going to ask you what you want to do of those three options. Does one work into your life better than any other? Um, they, it, for me, uh, it, it, I, can re, I can work with all of them. So this is really on you, your life, what you want to accomplish. Um, and then what I'm going to ask you to do is just get back to me. So, you know, if I have five people that are going to take an incomplete and disengage from the canvas stuff, okay, that's cool. And then that may shape what I can work into uh, a weekly module. So I just kind of need to know where everybody stands going forward. Um, and then we'll, we'll make it work to the very best of our ability. And uh, we'll have some fun in, in the remaining eight weeks. All right, that's our update for everybody. Um, if you're going to stick around or if you're even thinking about it, move on to the next pages in our module. And you can see how things are going to start to shape up. Uh, I'm going to go over in a separate module for each uh, course uh, what I have laid out. All right. Uh, again, I hope everybody's well. I hope you're healthy and happy. And uh, um, I will talk to you very soon. Thanks.